Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to study about structure of atom and this is the fourth chapter under CBSC standard 9 syllabus. So we will first here discuss about two scientists who after the Dalton's theory they have discovered two subatomic particles of atom. Now what is the meaning of subatomic particle? This is atom, this is nucleus. In nucleus proton is there and neutron is there. And because of the positive charge particle present in the nucleus the electron will rotating around the nucleus. So this all are subatomic particles because they are within the atom and we are considered them as a particles of atom. So that's why they are subatomic particles. So once these two particles have been discovered by this scientist, the Dalton's theory was not hold true for all these things because we have to accommodate these particles into the atom or within the atom. So after this, some scientists have given their model, a proposed model of atom. This we know today and this is the correct one. But earlier when they were discovering and when they did not know that this is the correct structure of atom, they have proposed some of the model of atom. They got failed because of were not hold true for some of the speculation and for some of the experiments. So we are going to go through all those details and we will study all those proposed models given by the scientist at that time. And we will simultaneously discuss that what all were the drawbacks, what all was the assumption of those scientists and why those models were failed in today's scenario. So all these details we are going to discuss in this chapter and later on we will see that how we are deciding the valency of atom, how atoms are having a tendency to become stable and that's why they are forming bond and they will make compounds. All these things we are going to study in this chapter. So first two things we need to know that J.J. Thompson was the first scientist who found out the first subatomic particle and that was electron. And this electron was identified by him. The scientist's name was J.J. Thompson. Second scientist was Goldstein and he found out that there is a presence of another particle in the atom. So presence of new radiation in gas charge he discovered and called them canon rays. And these rays were positively charged and they were get deflected by the negative environment. And also these particles were having the mass two times greater than that of the electrons. So later on this lead to and discovery of proton as one of the subatomic particle of atom. So now going forward we are going to discuss the atomic structure given by the J.J. Thompson than atomic structure given by the Rutherford. This was the model proposed by Thompson. And he compared this model to Christmas pudding and watermelon. So let us discuss first Thomson's model of atom. He suggested this type of model and he compared this with Christmas pudding. That how the dry fruits are evenly distributed on the pudding and pudding we are thinking as of a positive sphere. So this is a positive sphere. Onto that electron charge are equally distributed. So this was his discovery and his proposed model of atom. We can also think of watermelon that in how uh, red structure the seeds of the watermelon are evenly distributed. So that is how he predicted the structure of atom. He also proposed two main points that an atom consists of positively charged sphere and the electrons are embedded in it. So in complete positive sphere, the electrons are equally evenly distributed onto that. Then second, the negative and positive charges are equally in magnitude because the atom as a whole is electrically neutral. This was the point we 
which he predicted correctly that how much ever negative charge is there in the atom that much magnitude of negative charge is also present in the atom because as a whole atom is electrically neutral so he said that whatever magnitude the negative particle has the same amount of magnitude positive particles will also carry in this structure of atom so these were the two points he proposed in exam the question can come like show a structure of proposed model of jj thompson or question can come like write a two points proposed by a jj thompson so you need to remember the structure and also you need to remember this two points that what he has predicted or what he proposed about atom